Uh, well, you try and work to your strengths. Uh, you don't uh, consider so much about what the opposition are doing and make sure that when you plan to put a team on the field that they represent what you're going to go out there and the plan that you set to, to take out. And um, I thought we did that excellently in that last game. Uh, it makes a lot of the hard work that you do day to day with the team, trying to educate them and develop them as rugby players. When you see it put together like that, it makes you very proud as a coach. I need to look at this game because this is the first time that Japan have played against an opposition in the rain. Um, and I will plan with my coaches and with my players accordingly to that. But uh, it's too early for me to make any assessment on that. Yes, I think that the, what we've got to get to is we've got to get more consistent at playing against these teams. You've seen that we are capable of beating them, um, but we put ourselves under pressure by not having some consistency early in the tournament. When you go to international tournaments, and you can see it in the World Series here at the moment, you can one game and you're gone. So we've got to make sure that we've got you know more more about us when we come into those world qualifiers in June. I, I think we just, uh, our structure was a wee bit better, we we took our opportunities a bit better than we did in the uh, pool play and we put pressure on them and we, we just took our opportunities. Uh, I think, I've never played Japan personally but I, by the sounds of things uh, the boys love playing Japan and uh, I think they grow an extra leg when they get the opportunity to play them, so it'll be good. From what I've seen, I've seen little bits and pieces of Japan and they look like a class outfit. They play they play exciting sevens. I don't think they've had a point scored against them uh, yet in the tournament, so they're going to be bloody tough and hey, we'll see what happens in the final.